welcome back to the show. Well, this is an ultimate love story, I reckon, that could be straight out of Hollywood, but our next guests are far from actors. This is, in fact, the true tale of how a Melbourne woman tracked down and then fell in love with her anonymous sperm donor. And I'm pleased to say the very happy couple has finally tied the knot. In their first live TV interview since their big day, uh, Mina, Hart, Scott Anderson and three-year-old Layla join us live from Melbourne. Good morning to you all. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that little button. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Hi. It's Uncle Carl. <laughs> Tell us about the wedding. Uh, it was a great day. We had a ball. Yeah. What do you reckon? Mm. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> you are such the strong, to... silent type, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I had to give him a nudge then to remember it. <laughs> no, it was a wonderful day. Honestly, the, um, it was a beautiful location at Sorrento Back Beach, which is on a cliff overlooking Bass Strait, and it blew an absolute gale. Oh, yeah. It nearly blew us away, um, which made for some funny hair that. moments with Layla and, Layla and myself. Um, <laughs> but, but inside, later at the reception, you could feel the love in the room. I think everyone was really happy for us. Oh, I bet. Um, and there was a lot of a lot of happiness. It was a high point, I've got to say. And you really do deserve it. Your love story has captured hearts right around the world, I mean. Can mm. you just remind everyone how it all like, unfolded like kind of backwards? Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, I had a baby by an anonymous donor after I'd lost my two sons to a genetic condition. And um, when she was born, she was very blonde-haired and blue-eyed, which was kind of the antithesis of my boys, who were both dark like me. And um, my mum and I were pretty fascinated by the fact that she was so fair. So my mum decided to get on the internet and see if she could find a Simmental cattle breeder with the initial S in Victoria. And that's pretty much all she had to go on. But my incredible mother managed to find him. <laughs> and so uh, eventually I decided to go through the voluntary register and uh, ask if he'd be prepared to receive an email from me, to which he agreed. And I sent some photos of Layla, just saying thank you very much mm. for, um, for helping me become a mum to a beautiful, healthy child. Mm. But this is, this is where it takes a twist, because Scott was with a partner and had four kids of his own. Scott, can I just bring you in here? Why on earth would you tick a box saying that if there was a child, you'd, you'd welcome it into your life? Because that can have real you know, ramifications. Yeah, just, just to set the record straight, it wasn't, it wasn't the mother of the kids that I was living with at the time when Amina came along. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was, it's, it was a bit of a shock when she, when she came along, but once I saw the photos of Layla, you know, and she looked pretty similar to me, I was kind of, kind of cancer. No, I don't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Scott, I was thinking about this um, the other day when, when we knew that you were coming on, and that is, you think about life and you think about how things can change and turn and take twists and turns and, and for even th for you guys to be together and for this to have happened, I mean so many things couldn't have happened or may not have happened but this ha has happened, it's amazing isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy really but, but it's, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah. And Hollywood knows a great story when they see yeah. one and of course you've written a book Amina that tells the whole beautiful story and of course it's called How I Met Your Father. Um, tell us about that. Well, I guess out of Australian story, the, some publishers approached me and asked if I'd be prepared to write a memoir and I wasn't, you know, sure that I could do it, but I got the opportunity and I thought as a tribute to the boys, it was a, it was a lovely opportunity. And, um, and also just to give Layla a bit of a record of how she came into the world because it is quite unconventional. And so I decided to give it a go and I was offered a ghostwriter, but in the end I managed to, to write it myself and it feels like an achievement and it does feel like a beautiful sort of tribute to to my three kids, yeah. What does the future hold now? Well, we got married, so yeah. we're kind of now combining life properly. I'm trying to become a natural uh, farmer, uh, which I, I, I historically <laughs> haven't been. <laughs> um, but at the moment, we're trying to sell the book. I've got a copy here, so, yeah. you know, hopefully some people will buy it and read the story. It does go right back to before I was born, to my mum's life with my dad, um, and then kind of brings us to, to this happy place. So, Great story, yeah, it's it? been a journey, but mm. right now it's a happy time in our lives and we're just making the most of it, living in the moment. Sweet as. Yeah, and you yeah. had to go through some real heartbreak to get there but we're so happy for you Amina thank and you, you too Scott and little thank Layla you. there thanks so much for joining us guys Layla say bye bye bye, bye Layla bye.